7.48 p.m. I'm headed to the land of Nada. 10.30 low tide. In that box the other day was Tony Eisenhower's waterproof headphones for the Equinox. Everybody gave them great reviews. Me and Gigmaster and Denny got a pair of them. Denny is reluctant to use his, but I think he's going to give them to Beaver, or Beaver's going to give them to Rick Backus. Anyway, we're going to try them out here in a few minutes. A couple gold rings found this morning at low tide. I don't know, somebody's calling me. Stand by. Well, I got halfway, I mean, I got about a mile away from home. <clears throat> And my rocket scientist light came on and said, Hey, rocket scientist, you forgot your light. So I had to turn around and get my headlamp. <laughs> Old Steimers almost got me. Sheer blind luck. My light came on. Beaver's already down there. He brought the headphones by. He was checking them out to see if he wanted to get a set of them. So when he brought them by, he was on his way to Nada. So he's, uh, he's been there maybe... He's probably been to Nada on the beach for about 10 minutes, if I had to guess it. But he's going north, and I'm going south. We'll have a report when we get home later tonight. I'll see you. My first night hunt, 19, 2018. I'm way behind time, 1900s. How about it? Okay. A buddy in Tennessee, Jason, he's a fly fishing guy. I think it's in Elizabethtown. And he sent me a message that says, Jack Mac, somebody's hijacked one of your videos. Some guy named Xanus Channel. So I went and looked it up, and sure enough, he, I don't know if he if he hijacked anybody else's, but he had hijacked one of mine. He hijacked the one when the, the first spin with the Equinox. When we first got him, the first spin we ever made on his channel had his name on it now, I don't know what that means or how that happens or how he did it but I reported it to uh, YouTube today and they've uh, said they removed it but it was their biggest damn life <laughs> right on his channel what else what else was I going to share with you something about oh I know what it was tomorrow's going to be a big knife day I don't say knife, let's say scissors. I got a few knives that got dropped off about an hour ago. Some uh, survival knives. But I got to pick up some cities, I mean some scissors for the city of Virginia Beach, the school board. You know, all the schools are closed around here. So this guy apparently is in charge of all the maintenance of, I guess, things that the school board uses or schools use. And I guess one of them is scissors. So I got a 1030 meet with him to pick up scissors. I don't have any idea what kind of scissors, nor do I have any clue on how many scissors. But if it's all the scissors from all the schools, holy jumping Toledo, I might be swamped with scissors. I guess I'll just have to wait and see what happens tomorrow around 10, 30, or 11. That'll be interesting. But that'll make for a nice uh, day or Tuesday or I might have picked up another restaurant exchange too. The new place just opened in Chesapeake. She's supposed to, I mean, she's supposed to uh, text me a picture of her knives and wants me to sharpen them every two weeks. But she's only got four, so it's not no earth shaking, you know, dollar amount. But I'll know more about that too later. Blades, blades. Would you ever believe it? I was happy having a good time finding a yellow piece now and then. And I started this farmer's market stuff, what it's grown into. My buddy and I made two knife sharpeners in Charlotte, North Carolina from detectors. I made uh, a friend of mine in Texas who wasn't a metal detector. My buddy Jim in Iowa made him a knife sharpener. Uh, and there's two other guys, not metal detector related, but just watch some of my videos. They're knife sharpeners. And a new guy just started up in Las Vegas. 
sharpening knives. It's amazing. Okay. I'm making the turn here, headed to the land of night. I got about 12 more minutes to go. I'm running 63, exceeding the speed limit by 7 miles per hour. Or 8, 8 miles an hour, you know. I just exceed the speed limit all the time. Always have, always will. I'll get back to you if I don't get a ticket. I'll see you. Well, I'll try this again. The first time I tried it, all I got was sound, no picture. This is a spin from last night. Seven dimes and eight nickels, three meager quarters, and some other stuff. Exercise. This was the best of it. Maybe this, sound wise. It was windy, still windy here now. I saw two other guys. I don't know who they were. Beaver. Beaver went. Beaver went north of me. But I haven't heard back from Beaver, so I don't know what he found. But if I hear before I finish this exercise in fertility, I'll add it to the back. The phones from Tony are outstanding. I should not have hesitated as long as I did. But our buddy Gigmaster said, I gotta have some phones, so I'm gonna buy three sets. Gigmaster got them for us. Okay, that's all I know. See you later today. Maybe.